pass and die before I away. Yeah. I hold my soul, you love self, ja, ja. Yeah, yeah. But you see, fun is moving. All right, welcome back, everybody. We are keeping it running here, right here on the Now Morning Show. Hope you're having a great morning so far. Now we're going to be speaking about an exciting, an exciting leadership conference, which is Max's fourth leadership conference. And to chat with me uh, about that this morning is Maxine Atong, who is with uh, Gestalt PCC, and she's an executive coach of organizational development, as well as a leadership specialist. Good morning and welcome. Hi, Carrie. <laughs> thank you. And thank you for being with us this morning. So uh, Maxine, tell us what do you do and uh, then we'll find out how do you do it. So I, I partner with leaders and my whole vibe really is about fueling your leadership spark. So when I look at you, Carrie, I know that somewhere within you is the leader that you were always meant to be. And it, may be <laughs> <laughs> and it may be in this field, it may be in your family, it may be in your community, in your church and on your football team. And so I work with you as I would work with other leaders to really fuel that leadership spark because it's already there. You right. may not be aware or you may not know how, and I will help you be the less, best leader that you can be. Do you believe everyone can be a leader though? Absolutely. Really? Yes, the difference is recognizing one, that you can lead, two, saying to yourself, this is the sphere in which I will make my impact, and right. then three, knowing what steps to take to make your vision come true. All right, well with that, uh, that leads into my next question. How do you do that? How do you identify the leadership quality in any person and then develop that and help it to grow into what they are meant to do? We've been taught a lot of things. We've been programmed. We have been, we've read books. Uh, so for example, how many leadership books have been written by people who look like you? Right. Very few, right? Very few. They're usually white American male. And so the idea that we have around leadership is that it's out there. It's something that we can't access. It's right. something we can't do. And my whole job, what I see myself doing in this time in my life is really helping people see that a leader has particular qualities that you already have. You're already kind. You already want other people to do well. You already want to do well. You also want to impact and influence the people around you. That's leadership. Right. It may not be, it may not have a fancy title, servant leadership, author theory, and all the fancy terms that every 20 years are bandied around. Right. And the qualities of you still remain. So how do you use that to influence? How do you use that to change something? How do you use that to impact upon this society, this community, your family, and uh, yourself? All right, very well. And uh, with that, you have uh, the conference that is coming up very soon. Uh, first off, when is it? It's on April 29th, Thursday, April 29th, 2021. And it's, I mean, this is, uh, this is a very special occasion for me. And it's something that I put a lot of myself into. Right. And the whole idea, again, is just sharing the vision that all of us have that leadership spark. We need to fuel it, we need to grow it, we need to expand it, and we need to share it with others. You know, we always look and say, you know, how do we change this society? We change it one person at a time. So just think about it. I work in organizations because that's where my space is. And I work with leaders because leaders have the ability to impact more than one person at a time. Every leader has a team. And regardless of the kind of organization you work within, you're working with people. So if we want to change society, how about changing organizations and working so that right. people can see the leadership within themselves? So that when they go home, they raise their children differently. They contribute to their communities differently. So we could start a wave if we start a change, and if leaders recognize that their responsibility, that they can actually do this to influence and positively impact others, we could change our society. We really can, and yeah. uh, you've been doing it for, uh, well, this is the fourth installment yes. coming up here, and uh, each one would have a theme. What's the theme for this year's installment? So this one is leading with equity. In 2020, we were, of course, faced with the pandemic, and we're still suffering the impacts and effects of that. And one thing about the pandemic really showed up the inequities in the world. So there was, there was stuff happening like um, there were more reports of harassment at the office because people were now working from home. They felt safe enough to make those claims. Right. We still have inequities in terms of women in the workplaces. We have a lot of women who are managers, yet in the Caribbean, a Deloitte 2018 study showed that less than 2% of women are actually chairs of boards 
and actually less than 15% of board seats are filled by women. So that's another form of inequity. We also have this, this people with disabilities. How do we accommodate them in the workplaces? Right. How do we employ them? So there's inequity on every sphere. I you like know. the fact that you're using the word um, inequity rather than, and, and equity rather than um, equality. Yeah. Expand on that for us a little more. Uh, so equality makes the assumption that we all have the same start in place. Right. And therefore the, the race is open and it's flat. And if you think about it, it's a very capitalist way of thinking. So everybody says the resources are there, go get them. So what equity is about is making sure that we all have the same starting point and the same distance to go. So clearly, if it is that I can't run as fast as you, and I'm sure I can't, mm -hmm. it means then I'll probably need a little 10 foot start right. so that we could more or less finish the, finish the um, race at around the same time. So giving people the tools necessary to start um, any any progress, any journey, yes, equally. Exactly. Right. And so, because I work in the space of organizations, the question for organizations would be, are we sure that we have equity in our organizations? When we look at our policies and procedures, when we look at our hiring practices, our recruitment, are we, without being aware, discriminating against people because of the way they look, the addresses that they have? And I think there's a, there is a suggestion right. in our society that people with certain addresses don't get jobs. Right. You know, and there's a there's an old boy network. How do we dismantle that within our organizations to make sure that while the old boy network is great, that it doesn't hamper people's ability to enter and more importantly to succeed? Of course, of course. So tell me, why should I attend the conference and anyone for that matter? Yeah, that, that's a really good question. <laughs> <laughs> so because we can't meet physically, the conference is being done virtually. And we've really invested in the Hoover platform because that gives the attendee a very near live experience. We've also structured the, the agenda for the day to give you time to also be productive at your desk. So a lot of us are still working from home, still in a blended situation. So we want to be able for you to maintain your productivity while you attend the sessions. Okay. So we spaced out the sessions where you get you know, one hour you could go and take your emails, finish your reports, and still attend the conference, so right. that's one. And people go to conferences because they want to network. In this conference, there is a networking ability. So after each session, we have a lot of roundtable discussions where people are put into different rooms and they meet people who, have, who are attendees to the conference as well. Right. We have sponsors, and the sponsors have exhibition booths. And these booths will also be open for six months after the conference so that people could pop in and they could visit, they could win gifts and stuff from sponsors. Who doesn't like right, that? Of course, that's and exciting. Then, yeah, and I think the most important thing is the engagement. Whenever I structure these conferences, because I know I have a very low attention span, I don't want to be spoken to. I want to be able to share my experiences and be part of the conversation. Right. So we definitely also feature on that. So for an attendee, well. we've also kept the price relatively flat. It's at 100 US and okay. uh, that's our early bird special. So that, that is open until the mid of March. So we, we want people to come to the conference. We need to have the shared experiences so that together we can co-create a way forward for ourselves. And as you mentioned, the price there, quickly before we go, um, how do we get into contact? How do people sign up, register? Yeah, so you can register at maxfinatong.com. You can also send an email to leadingwithequity at gmail.com. <laughs> And then you could also just give a, give us a call at 724-7642. All right, wonderful. And that is um, something to look forward to. And again, it's on the 29th, the 29th of, of April. April, 2021. Wonderful. And we have two special guests, Dr. Raman Naidu out of South Africa and Nancy Luna Jimenez out of Portland, Oregon. And they both work in the social justice system. Dr. Rama works on dismantling apartheid. I mean, he grew up in that time, right. and he spends a lot of his work around that, still dismantling that. And Nancy, of course, anti-racism work in the US, and I work in organizations throughout the Caribbean. Right, wonderful. I want to thank you so much, Maxine Atong, for joining us this morning. We look forward to that uh, conference, the fourth leadership conference, the MAC fourth leadership conference. And uh, you got the information there before. And you can always check back on our Facebook feed to see how you can get into contact and register to get your spot, to book your spot for this wonderful conference as well. Thank you very much. We're going to take a short break and come back with much more right here on the Now Morning Show. Stay right where you are.